What's up, Supermoto Bros? Welcome back to another episode of the Supermoto Bike Build. This is our Honda CRF 450, and today we're going to be installing our radio mount Behringer front brake system. As usual, a huge shout out to each of our bike build partners here, and a big shout out to Behringer Brakes for sponsoring today's episode. So here we have the Behringer front brake disc. I believe this is the 310 millimeter. There are the other options, 300 millimeter, the 320 millimeter. I think most of it just depends on what size wheel you have. I run the 16.5, so I have the 310 millimeter. And next up in our box is the Behringer master cylinder. This master cylinder is the best one on the market. I absolutely love it. The feel of it is, an, is absolutely insane. The feedback I get from it. Um, so you can use this with any front brake system. I mean, obviously the entire Behringer front brake system kit is the best on the market, but you can just get this master cylinder and use it with any brake system. Next up is the radial mount four piston Behringer caliper. Um, now this is gonna be mounting onto our SPS fork feet. Since it is the radial mount, it's gonna be a four piston and I can't wait to even test this thing out. It, it looks awesome and I've heard great things about it. These are the spacers and bolts that come with the radio mount calipers. So um, there's different spacers depending on what bike you have. So just kind of test them out and make sure you're able to put them on correctly. So first things first, let's go ahead and remove the front wheel so we can switch those discs out. Next up, we'll go ahead and cut our wire tie that holds our front brake bolts on and we'll take those uh, axial mount bolts out and we'll remove the front brake system. Now that we got that front brake system off, I put those bolts back in there so that way I don't lose them. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the system from the bike itself. So right here, you can see how the axial mount Behringer front brake system mounts up compared to the radio mount Behringer front brake system. Next up, we'll go ahead and remove this little screw that holds the cable in there. Pull that on out. And then we'll go ahead and remove the master cylinder from the handlebars. Now that we got this master cylinder removed, we can go ahead and remove the entire front brake system from the bike itself. And then we'll go ahead and swap out these discs so that way I have the brand new disc on the wheel. As you can see here, we do have the SPS fork feet on there now because they are the radio mount. So go ahead and check out the SPS factory fork feet video, um, which was the one prior to this. So that way you can see how that was done. But now that we have those on there and we have our new Behringer front disc on there, we put our front wheel on, we can go ahead and prep our Behringer front brake system to get ready to put onto the motorcycle. So here we have our still braided brake line that we're gonna be attaching to our caliper and our master cylinder. Once we get that done, we'll be able to put that onto the bike and then we'll go ahead and put some fluid in it. So here you can see that there is two brass washers. You're gonna to wanna to make sure one stays on the caliper and one goes on the bolt. So there should be one on each side of the brick line itself. And the same thing will go for that master cylinder. You're gonna to wanna to brass um, washer on top and bottom. Now that we have our front brake system prepped and ready to go, let's go ahead and install it on the bike. So I have it laying over everything right now. We'll go ahead and remove the uh, handlebar mount and mount it up to the handlebar. We'll go ahead and put that steel braided line in the front plate line holder so that way it doesn't flop around on us.
So let's go ahead and move to mounting up the caliper. Now this spacer right here is the one that does fit my bike. It comes with the Behringer kit. Um, it does come with instructions as well on what spacer you should be using for your bike. So just make sure you use the correct spacer for your uh, your combination of fork feet and brake and your disc and everything else. So we'll go ahead and tighten those bolts up to make sure this is nice and tight. That way we can go ahead and check our spacing. So you guys see this little kink right here on the steel braided line? You want this end to be on the caliper itself. That way it kind of bends away from the caliper and has the correct, um, correct way. As you can see right there on the bottom, it's more of a flat one on the master cylinder. So just make sure you put the steel braid line on correctly the first time. Now that we have everything mounted up, we're gonna go ahead and put some fluid in this Behringer front brake system. Now, once we do that, we're gonna have to bleed it and you know pull that fluid through, make sure it's uh, there's fluid all the way through it, no air bubbles, anything like that. So just go ahead and put fluid in your system and bleed it until it feels how you want it to feel. Again, big shout out to Behringer Brakes USA for this front brake system. It is by far one of the best brakes I've ever ridden. I absolutely love the feel of it. It has so much consistency and power. I can stop on a dime and I highly recommend getting this system if you are wanting to progress in your riding. That's it for today's episode, Supermoto Bros. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for your support.